morning, everybody. It is Jared with Duff Brothers Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, where we are number one in the number two business. Today, we have a really special video for everyone. We are donating a brand new water heater and PRV to a very deserving teacher. So we are very excited about that. All right, we've made it. Safe and sound. All right, so we made it out here. Um, we're out at the job site. We're replacing the water heater. We're putting two ball valves, an expansion tank, another ball valve, and a PRV before they're needed. tank just like on the water heater you want to do the same thing you want to make sure that you're both doing Teflon tape and you're doing the thread sealant again the reason why is you want to make sure that it's absolutely 100% sealed there's no way for water leaks but you don't want to overwrap it this is just a bladder um, inside this tank so there's air pressure back here and it's just below the pressure for the PRV that regulates the pressure for the house. So that'll allow the water to come in here when it's needed and then push back out um, when the system needs it again. Um, you need to check with your local and state code how they have things done. The way that you set up the tank, the way that you set up the water heater is all in accordance with that. Um, the tanks need to be secured, the water heater, there's various codes as far as like the venting, how the venting goes. So just make, take that into consideration if you are looking to do your own water heater. Secondly, it's super important that you always pull a permit. This uh, part put uh, screwed onto the water heater. Everything is is either soldered in or pressed in, except for this joint right here. On this ball valve, we're going to go ahead and knock that out. And then once Jared's done with the PRV, we'll turn the water back on. Just cleaning off the excess excess flux and. Cleaning up this little solder joint we did just to make it look nice and doesn't get corroded down the line after 10 or years or so. So just making it nice and clean, keeping everything nice and clean, organized, looking good. We want it to look good because we look good. You want to do good, you want to play good. I think we did pretty good this morning. All right, so this is one of our gas fittings we're going to put on this. Uh, Shut off valve down there. It's very important to make sure that you use pipe dope. It's a thread sealant. Uh, it goes on this this side. This side over here is tapered. That's what's going to actually go into the gas line here. Um, it's just a different type of seal that doesn't need any type of dope or anything. Um, this butts up against another uh, tapered end, which creates a nice tight seal. But this side, if you don't put pipe dope on it, you will get uh, you will have leaks and you will smell gas. So. Just make sure whenever you're doing that, you put some, some dope on there, AKA thread sealant. Uh, so for your, your length and uh, size of your hose, your gas line, uh, you, you're gonna use your manufacturer specifications. So you look at your tag, uh, go off of their recommendation, uh, look at the tag on your uh, water heater or furnace or whatever you're putting in that needs a gas line and make sure you have the right size um, line for that unit that you're putting in. So here's the main shutoff to the house. They're there on and off. They have the water meter and then their piping going up. Pressure reducing valve is placed here. Then we have our meter going up.
crow died, and I've got my phone. So let's go over everything we did today. So right here is the new PRV. Comes over, we've got our metering device, and then we have a new shut off valve, and then it connects back into their old system. This is behind the water heater. Right here, this is their expansion tank, the front of the water heater. New ball valves. We've got the gas hooked up, and it is rocking and rolling. So, glad we had this opportunity to do this for this uh, customer. Um, it's been a real pleasure, and uh, I guess that's the end of the video. So, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next job site.